Continuing once again our Pi game tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to uh, add, um, add a feature that basically takes a screenshot and saves it to a file. This would be great if you're creating one, an application you just want to get screenshots of your game, but two, you can create uh, uh, you know, very simple photo editing, or video editing, uh, you know, applications. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's up to you to figure out useful features for it. I can think of a bunch myself. And um, basically, let's run our game. There we go. You can see we've limited. He's This tux is moving slower than he was in or, or, earlier tutorials uh, because we've limited it to 60 frames per second. The background's also fading at a different rate. Very constant 60 frames per second. And uh, I can click and get a sound effect. Close that. OK. Let's go into our game here. And we're going to add another if then else uh, statement here. So we're going to say L if event dot type equals key down and event dot key equals capital case space or underscore capital space. And this will be what happens whenever we press the space bar. And what are we going to do? Well, it's very simple. Uh, we're going to type in here uh, the command to export to a file. And it's a pygame, part of the pygame module here. So pygame.image.save. And what is the image we're going to save? We're going to save the whole screen. And we'll save it to a file called screenshot and that should be all we have to do I'm going to pre press enter there just put a space there make it a little easier to read we will save and exit out we will run our code here so there we go we have this going on now if I press spacebar you don't see anything happen but I'll close the game now and if I list you'll see that there's a file called screenshot right there. And we should have called it screenshot.png. Let's uh, go back in and fix our code to do that. Because I do think it saves based on what the extension you put. And if you don't put a proper extension, it will not save proper. PNG. PNG is always a good file format to use. So once again, there we go. I'm going to hit space bar. And you saw where that tux was. We will close that out. Once again, list. Screenshot. I'm just going to use this. Oh, I don't have Image Magic installed. Uh, I will open up a new window manager here. Go to my temp folder where I'm working, and you can see both the images we saved. So the first one did save properly. I'll click on this, and there's the screenshot we took. It's at the resolution that the screen is. You can see right here, 600 by 400, and it's in a PNG format. So uh, this is great if you want to create an application that uh, you can have it constantly in a loop save every image so you can make an animation that you're animating uh, in Pygame and save it to a uh, series of images and then use another application to uh, link all those into a video file. Um, and uh, you can also, as we see later on, we'll be moving images with the mouse. You can create a scene and save it. But that is how you export images from Pygame into a separate image file. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.